trigger warning. If you use trigger warnings in your classroom, the odds are you're causing more harm than good. I say that because based on the finding of this meta-analysis, which is where multiple studies on the same topic are combined to look at the overall effect, found that there's an increase in what's known as anticipatory anxiety when trigger warnings are provided. In other words, people get nervous and anxious and on edge and have more unpleasant emotions before they encounter the material if there's a trigger warning. And there's no evidence that the trigger warning does anything for how people feel after they read or view the material. This study looked specifically at trauma survivors and found that even when the content involved matched their specific trauma, trigger warnings were not helpful at all. There's a few reasons for why we see these findings with trigger warnings. One is that the trigger warning itself may be upsetting, and that's why you see that anticipatory anxiety. Another reason is that the trigger warning may prime upsetting experiences or upsetting thoughts, which actually makes the person more likely to think about their traumatic experiences. Finally, triggers themselves are very hard to predict. They oftentimes come out of the blue. For example, oftentimes sensory experiences are very triggering and upsetting. Uh, so a professor could come in wearing the same shirt as somebody who attacked you and that would be triggering. Of course, you shouldn't have upsetting content just for the sake of upsetting students. And I want to point out that content should always be age appropriate and relevant to the course objectives.